out just driving across for the start of the HT 550. We've got the sunnies on, however it is raining and pretty windy outside. So I'm braced for the full Scottish experience whilst out on the bike. A self-supported bikepacking race about 550 miles with over 16,000 metres of ascent. I thought I should say day one, weather conditions were breezy but dry all day. And then day two, halfway through the day and it's been dry again. Woke up to sunshine, it's overcast now. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. I am feeling flipping awful this morning. Ah, <sighs> oh, who knows where we are. So wet. I woke up with like water trickling around my face in my bivvy bag. Oh, pretty stunning, but pretty wild. This is the sheltered side. Feels good now to be over this side. I'm having fun. I had a cup of tea and a hot water bottle that I could put inside my jacket, which felt amazing. Now trundling along the road towards Loch Inver. What a day. Weather, fine West Coast Scottish weather. Wet, 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 windy, windy, windy. In your face, half the day, behind you, the other half of the day, which was much better. Um, feeling really good. I've had, what, nine hours sleep over three days? Meh. And uh, tonight I'm in bed early. It's only 8.30, so I'm gonna sleep 9.30. 30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30 and then I think I'm going to get up at 1.30, leave by 2 and uh, go smash out tomorrow. Pushing up a hill, don't know if you can see me, I'm totally knackered. <sighs> and it's a big hill to get over to the Carnmore Causeway. And I want to make it to pull you for like 2 a.m. Absolutely burst, 23 hours of riding. I've done Loch Inver to uh, Carnmore Causeway and part way to pull you. That's a long way. Chocolate croissant before I go to bed. Life doesn't get much better, apart from it's a wet bed. Agnashelic descent, let it commence. Fully loaded bike, fresh top up of food, all outer garments off because it's hot. Flipping awesome as always. Didn't quite clean it. Uh, I've got really swollen ankles. I think uh, from overuse. Just had classic Emma moment. Going, I don't want to carry on. I feel like crying. It's really hard. And just being quite negative. And guess what? It's because I was hungry. Lit in my dehydrated meal. And hey presto. I'm a happy girl again. I woke up on the hour every hour for six hours and ankles are in bits. HT550 is brutal. So what a bad morning. Holy smokes, I could barely walk this morning. I thought my race was totally done. Three hours of just really slow walking. Using the bike as a crutch for my ankles to loosen up. It's not good, but I don't want to have to come back and do this race again. And I think that was the concluding factor to why I'm still going. Saw a couple of other riders. They help with morale massively, just general random chit chat. Anyway, amazing Kathy and Tomic had soup, cheese scone, massive slice of lemon cake 
and a cup of tea and life is good. Uh, wearing this thermal inside out, which I have done since day one, it's not been off me. So many messages from folk telling me to keep going and I'm trying. Uh, but it's so nice to see so many messages. Um, just skimmed through a few and then also looked at track leaders Oh my goodness, Annie Lee has just done an all-nighter and she was going over Devil's Staircase as I was sat in Tomek and we were together yesterday in Kinlochy. She's uh, she's one hardy cookie. Well done, Annie. Massive thank you for all the support and hopefully this film will inspire the odd one or two of you to go and give it a shot.